hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to fetch the category and product and we will be creating a home page so as you can see in our home path we don't have an URL so we'll just create that and link a home page and we will be adding a slider so I've just written over here we'll be creating a home page and add a slider over there then we will fetch the category and products and then we will display the trending category and products in our home page so let us start with it so we'll go to the URLs file and here just remove this thing so it'll have it on the home page and in our index.html first we will be adding a slider so for the slider let us go to getbootstrap.com go to the docs and here just search for slider we are going to take this third one so the one which is with the indicators so just copy that and paste it over here so if you require you can just keep this in a slider file let me just do that so inside includes create slider dot html here just paste it and we will include it in the index.html file just say include within single quotes so it is inside our store slash inc slash slider dot html so in our slider we need to give the image link over here so the path to image so for that we are going to store it in our static so this is the upload so I just added the category and products over here so just create another folder over here called images so we need to add our image inside this images folder so we'll just go in that here inside your static images so I have it in my desktop so I'll just drag that and drop it over here okay so I'll just minimize this and open the code so here you're not going to give directly like images and slider we need to load the static tag over here I'll just say load static and in this I just say static and here we have it inside our images folder slash the slider dot jpg so in the previous video we had configured this in our settings.py file inside e-commerce just go to the settings.py and here we had given the media URL to images and media root to the base directory static folder so we need to add here one more thing that is the static file files dirs so the static file directories so make it a list and here let's say the base directory slash static save and you can just close this so we have just configured it so now let us go to the main page and here we have already included it so let us go to the browser and check the output so just refresh and let us check the terminal okay so the server is stopped just run server once again refresh and here it is so only one thing we had added right in the rest two images it is just that three dots so let us go and change that so inside your slider just copy and paste copy paste paste so here you can just add the height just select all these three using control D and give an attribute of height equal to 400 px save and refresh so it looks good so now what we are going to do is we are going to 
move this navbar this side and we'll add the nav items of collections that is the category and the products so we'll go to the code and close this slider and in the navbar we need to change that so just close this here you just have to change here so inside this you will say margin start is going to be auto and this container fluid I'll just make it to container so save and refresh so you can see the changes so in this home nav item we are going to remove that and say URL of home so this is the name of your your path or your URL path you are going right so this name so here we'll have the collections so collections is nothing but your category so for the collections let us create the URL say path and here collections and you're going to say dot collections copy that and give a name is equal to collections go to the views file and create a function collection pass in the request and say return render so in the request comma the file name it's going to be comma over here store slash collections dot html so just create a file with this name so inside your store new file and paste collections dot html so here we'll just have this similarly just copy this and paste remove the slider just change this hello collections page so we are just extending the same layout over here and here we are going to pass the data so i'll just create it over here so just create a variable over here style collections or you can keep it as category so not to confuse category is equal to so we'll just import our models from the models.py file so I'll just say from dot models import category and products so I just give asterisk so we'll import everything so here just say category dot objects dot filter where the status is equal to zero so if the status is equal to one so that means from the admin dashboard we have hidden that product so that will not be visible so now this category so I'll just say context is equal to and here say category so you can either just copy this thing and directly pass it over here so I prefer this way I just put the context over here and all my values inside this so we have sent this category data to the collections.html so now here we will be displaying it so let me just within double curly braces just paste that yeah so only this category we need to paste so let us just refresh and we'll give the category in this nav item so we'll add that link to so go in your nav bar and here just say url of collections refresh here when you give you can see here you have laptops mobiles fashion and footwear so we need to show that in a card view so go back to your collections we'll just remove this say collections and here to display the card we will put it in a container so I'll create a div say container and then just close the div 
So I'll just copy and paste the div. Trainer row, and then I have column md12, and inside that the closing div. Just paste it three times, and do the alignment. And we'll just control X and paste this header over here. And this category we are going to keep it in a for loop. So here I'm just going to create another div and say row. And here we will be having the for loop. Say for item in this category. Paste and just Control X and paste it over here. And this is going to be column MD4. Just copy and paste that. So we are going to change that class. It's going to be card and card body. And this category you can just remove it. We are not echoing it directly. So now we will just show the image. So for that, I'll just keep category image. Okay, I need to create it manually. Just control X and paste and so inside this we will have the IMG tag. And say img src is equal to and here and say item dot image dot url and here we'll give the alt text it's going to be category image and after this image we are going to give the category name so that is going to be in the h4 tag just close the h4 and within double curly braces just give item dot name save so let us check the output go and refresh so we have got this category names but this image is not loaded over here let us check so this thing looks good and let us check it in the settings.py file and here we have given everything correct so in this urls.py file yes here we are missing something so we need to include this media url and media root to the url patterns so for that you need to make few imports so just say from django.conf import settings and say from django dot conf dot urls dot static import static and here you just have to say if settings dot debug is true then we are going to show url patterns plus equal to static function and inside this we are going to say settings dot media URL comma document underscore root is equal to settings dot media underscore root save and here just miss the n patterns so can close this thing close the settings file and now it should work let us just refresh and check refresh let us check if the project has stopped okay it's still here let us just refresh this thing Re 
refresh and here it is we have got the images so let us give the class to this thing just add a attribute class is equal to width 100 save refresh these cards still look bigger so we'll just make it to column md3 so instead of 4 we're going to make it 3 save refresh and here it is we'll add a horizontal row over here say hr the refresh okay so we can just do this to text center class is equal to text center refresh and here it is so in this video we have seen how to fetch the categories and display it over here so in the next video we will see how to click this category and we will be able to view this categories products so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you